previously on Urban Madness. It's going down the freeway in the fast lane. Notice I didn't have oil pressure. By the time I got it off the road, it locked up. What you, what you want? What you, what you want? Gotta go load up the pressure washer into the truck. It's a day one. We've got a lot of stuff to do. We've gotta move some stuff around in the yard, get ready, clean out the can. Then we'll be ready to uh, start on this engine. <sighs> of course, I'm running late. And it's foggy out. Well, here's the uh, Jimmy right now. We've made good progress on our engine pull. <clears throat> We've got a lot of... Uh, this bracket here was kind of a pain because we had to actually pull the power steering pump pulley. She's definitely seized up. And here's what happened. You see it down there? Oil cooler line blew off. So we're gonna put the uh, OEM cooler back in it. I had to do a little work to it first. That's why the grill is out of it right now, because we didn't really need to pull the grill for this engine pull. That's the factory adapter plate that uh, has the oil cooler lines come off of it. The reason why I'm uh, taking pictures of that is I had a friend tell me that uh, that worked on a lot of GMs that uh, he swore it was a tranny cooler. And I told him, no, it's an oil cooler. Didn't believe me. The only thing I can come up with is the TBI trucks seem to have these. Uh, looks like my Felpro gasket set came in. It's kind of a mess in the box, but uh, I think they all are. Uh, paid uh, $108 with shipping and tax. So, big load off my mind. Uh, we're probably only going to use the rear main seal and the valve cover gaskets out of this set. But uh, we'll keep and hang on to everything else for uh, the other engine because we will be rebuilding it. Come on.